So my name is Dr David Nicholl and I thought this month I'd explain about the Homes for Ukraine scheme. How does it work and is it working? Um, well in many senses I'm extremely fortunate uh, and at the beginning of the Ukraine war we felt we had to do something. Um, I've got three children, two of them at university age, so we felt we had space. Thought we'd do the decent thing, offer up some space. Um, I have to say, if you're going to do this, you have to be extremely determined because the red tip is really something else. Um, and we basically went on Facebook, uh, looked at some of the science. I have to say it's quite worrying, some of the science, because the potential for um, grooming and the issues in terms of child protection and protecting vulnerable adults, I think, are... Um, uh, quite sizable okay um, but this is very much the whole Homes Ukraine scheme is essentially put yourself out there um, I'm on a medics uh, whatsapp group to support uh, colleagues in Ukraine uh, through that I was put in contact with a Ukrainian nurse who's based in London um, Maria you were fantastic put in contact with a family who've actually managed to get out of Ukraine and are in Poland um, and I spent about three hours uh, um, putting, uh, applying for the visas, which I'm glad I did, because the 50 plus pages of forms are all in English, and which in Ukrainian. Uh, then you have to wait, uh, well, one of the family have to go for biometrics, and there are only two centers in Poland. Uh, that actually went through um, pretty uneventfully, but then you get contacted by the, and I'm not making this up, the UK decision-making center, uh, which seems to be very good at not making decisions. Uh, this took some time. In fact, I'm still waiting for that to finally be processed. I contacted my MP about the delays, um, who checked with the Home Office. Yes, they're in the system. And uh, then still didn't hear anything. Contacted my MP again, uh, then got upgraded to the uh, Home Office uh, urgent system. Still waiting to hear. Uh, and hopefully when you see this video, um, uh, uh, we will have heard but we've done everything we've been visited by the council um, we've done the um, DBS checks um, which uh, again as a doctor I would have had to do full work anyway uh, our house has been viewed and deemed habitable um, so a lot of bureaucracy a lot of red tape takes an awful lot of determination that we still haven't got the family from Ukraine uh, arrived yet uh, still waiting um, uh, as many thousands are. Uh, Yet, yeah, if you go to Ireland, um, it seems uh, they've been able to take many more uh, refugees than in the UK um, because, of course, they haven't got the visa process. Now, as it happens, I am actually in Ireland, um, now Northern Ireland, and um, in fact, today's Irish Times is reporting they have taken, uh, Ireland's taken in uh, a thousand Ukrainian refugees just this weekend. Um, you know, but essentially that's because of not having the visa process. And some fantastic news I had uh, uh, this morning is, in fact, um, I've been contacted for my family to go to Warsaw to pick up the visas. It has been a very long process. And actually, ironically, I think contacting my MP has actually delayed things. Uh, I contacted my MP twice. Um, office, you know, very efficiently told me, oh yeah, we're in contact, the Home Office is being processed. And that made me think that everything was okay. Actually, I think if you do apply and you get contact with the UK decision-making um, centre, my tip would be give them 48 hours and then email them this address on the screen now. Um, because in fact, I contacted the Home Office this morning and within half an hour, uh, I was then getting emails saying that uh, uh, for my family to contact um, the visa collection process in Warsaw, um, and yet, you know, I'm thinking about this, they are in a safe place. I've got um, neighbours who actually applied after me who got their visas uh, more quickly, um, again by contacting that email address. Um, but their family are in uh, Melitopol, which is uh, Russian-held territory. Uh, and now they've got to try and work out how to get out of there. And if you look at um, where they are, it's, you know, uh, they're literally trying to get themselves past Russian tanks uh, to come to the UK. So uh, on one hand, I'm so pleased for my family. Equally, I'm terrified, frankly, at the thousands of um, families trying to get out.
um, who are in hell, frankly, as has been described by um, a Ukrainian friend of mine this morning. Um, so the process is, um, I'm afraid, very overly bureaucratic, but don't give up.